Hello world, data from over 500 million Facebook accounts has just been compromised. This has only been made public in the last few hours. The database has been made publicly available on hacking forums and can be accessed for only a couple of dollars. The leak comprises names, mobile numbers, email addresses, among a whole host of other things. But how did this happen? What does it mean for you and me? And how have Facebook responded to the hack? That's coming up in this video where we break down and dissect cybersecurity related tech news. The dump of 533 million records has been plastered across hacking forums. Given Facebook has about 2.8 billion users, this database represents a sizable portion of their overall user base. The data seems to have been initially obtained in late 2019, however has been kept private by the attackers until now. The leak itself was caused by a vulnerability which made it easy to scrape Facebook for personal information. At the time, it wasn't widely reported, which is why you're likely only hearing about it now when the data has been made publicly available. But why now. If a leaked database is new, hackers will want to keep it private for as long as possible to exploit it for their own profits, because when a number of people have access to and try to exploit a given database, the value of it will decrease rapidly, simply because a database is like a gold mine. Once the mine is mostly stripped dry, there's really not much money to be made. Once a database is sold, it'll very quickly be sold on to yet more and more people, and inevitably one of those people will eventually make it public for one reason or another, which seems to be what has happened here. Criminals typically use databases like this in social engineering attacks. Phishing emails, for example, are way more effective if the attacker has some pre-existing information on their victim. Given this database includes information on users such as occupations, locations, and relationship statuses, this is undoubtedly prime information for social engineering. Also, leaked databases are often used in credential stuffing attacks. I've made a whole video on how they work a few weeks ago when over 3 billion username and password combinations were leaked online. This leak is awful publicity for Facebook. For a company whose whole existence is predicated on gathering as much data on their users as possible, an event like this really damages their reputation. Though whilst these leaks are bound to happen on occasion, it only really becomes a tangible problem for Facebook if this happens often enough or to a large enough degree for ordinary people to start thinking, hmm, maybe I don't feel safe giving Facebook so much personal information. I realize a lot of my viewers are very security conscious and may steer clear of Facebook for this very reason, though it would take a good number of regular people to feel the same for there to be any dent in Facebook. There hasn't been any official response from Facebook, though in an apparent attempt to downplay the dump, a Facebook employee tweeted that only all old data was leaked, and that this was reported on and fixed in 2019. However, people are rightly pointing out in the replies that the leaked data largely consists of permanent data, which doesn't change, such as your date of birth and gender, so you can't really call this data old. Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Does this news surprise you in any way? Personally, I realize things like this will happen from time to time, so the news doesn't come as much of a shock to me. However, Facebook's response, or lack thereof, doesn't inspire much confidence. Facebook knows the public consciousness around privacy is starting to take shape and solidify, so I don't think they're really doing themselves any favors by keeping tight lipped on this incident. I'm sure in the coming days, the leaked treasure trove will be added to websites such as Have Been Pwned, so you'll be able to check if any of your personal information has been included in the leak. It would seem that US and UK Facebook users are the worst affected, with 32.3 million records coming from the US and 11.5 million originating from the UK. Speaking of things that originate from the UK, Maltronics is a store run by myself where you can find an array of super cool pen testing hardware. We supply our gear to universities, pen testers, students, and potentially you. You can find out more via the link in the video description. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube AI and turn on those sub notifications so you're notified of any new hacking news. As always, stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.